What's up guys, the last video which was the Bowser gameplay analysis was met with really good reception, and a lot of you guys said you wanted more, some suggesting with different characters, so that's exactly what we'll be doing here today. We'll be going over some gameplay analysis of our secondary, which is Cloud. Again, all these are against randoms in Elite Smash, but should provide some decent insight on general playstyles and matchups. So the first matchup is going to be against Peach. So when it comes to this matchup, like most for Cloud, uh, if you're fighting someone without a disjoint, you're going to want to take advantage of your range and just make sure that they're staying out of the range that they can hit you from. Uh, so take advantage of the range you have with the sword and space them out. Notice I'm using a lot of back airs to space out, making sure they're not able to get past that uh, range of the back air. I'm taking my time here to put damage on with back airs and cross slash, uh, and I'm not over committing to anything, right? Look how much damage I'm going to take right here from getting hit once, right? So we went from 0 to this 65 in 1 strength. So it's definitely best not to overcommit against Peach. First of all, Cloud doesn't really have any like decent true combos. Sure, he has like fair into F tilt and back air into F tilt or cross slash, but cross slash actually isn't even true from those things at 0. Um, so it's best to just kind of take your strays and not overcommit. Because if you overcommit against Peach, you're eating like 70-80% from one string since her combo game is so nasty, right? If you overcommit and you get grabbed, you're gonna have a really bad time. Can't believe our Nair doesn't even trade right there. I mean, I guess I can believe it. They really hurt that move, right? That F smash, honestly, was just probably a misinput or an Oonga Boonga, right? I probably just threw it out there. There was no calculation to that. I got lucky and it worked, right? I should have jumped for that limit cross slash, but it probably wouldn't have worked anyway since people always fall out of limit cross slash anyway. Very unreliable move, unfortunately. As good as its frame data is, kill power is only decent and its reliability is really actually awful. Get tossed off stage here. Uh, yeah, I burned my second jump there, that's a bad time, uh, and that's instant dead, right? Against Peach with the turnips off stage. As Cloud, you're gonna have a really hard time coming back. Uh, so definitely try to hold on to your double jump or mix up the recovery. Just trying to maintain our lead here. I did aggress a little too much. Again, overcommitted with that down air. And, uh, you know, ate, ate that 38% combo for it. But we're still uh, holding a pretty decent lead here. Jumped into up smash. Up smash is still a great option to uh, get kills and cover for anti airs. Alright, at this point, I'm pressing way too many buttons and just throwing out way too many attacks. I'm too desperate to get the kill here, right? So I'm throwing a lot of stuff out, and uh, as you can see, I am getting punished for it. Now I'm in disadvantage, uh, because I was just throwing out like attacks that were too telegraphed to try to get a kill. Still doing it, still doing it, which is not good. Uh, but that up smash worked out right there, up smash out of shield. Probably one of Cloud's best kill options, however, I do think it doesn't work quite as well anymore because people have figured it out. At this point, I'm just mashing and throwing out hitboxes, I won't lie to you guys, I'm uh, pretty much aware that I'm in advantage here with the lead I have and just throwing out attacks, right? Uh, I do get hit off stage, but I do a good recovery mix up there with cross slash and then get this spike, the double spike essentially. That Peach got too close to the edge here and took the climb hazard spike and if you guys have seen my card before, you know I'm always waiting and ready to get the uh, drop down double jump down air spike. Now I know I was really mashy toward the end uh, on that last stock, but it did work out for us, right? Uh, but if you thought I was mashy there, just wait till you see the Mario for the next match. So Mario is pretty crazy in Ultimate because his frame data is insane and his stuff is really safe, right? So he can get away with pressing a lot of buttons. That's why a lot of Marios you come across online are going to be really mashy. And it's especially bad online because you can't punish online since you're not really able to react, right? So a lot of times Mario's online will throw out Smash attack after smash attack or smash attack spot dodge smash attack, right? And then uh, even though you know it's coming, you can't punish it. However, I think I do do a pretty good job of punishing that here because I'm already expecting him to play that way, as most Marios do, right? As you guys will see here, he's gonna set up for smash attack. Right here, I missed the tech, but I wait for him to charge the smash attack. I actually waited to see him do it and knew that my role would be able to get past him, behind him, and safely hit him with the limit cross slash, right? He's behind here, so he gets really aggressive, uh, but all we do is pretty much wait for our opportunity to get a hit in. So we're not pushing our uh, lead or anything, 
We do end up taking a good amount of damage, but I'm still just waiting for an opportunity here. Not committing because I have the lead, right? And then I see this opportunity with this limit cross slash, get some damage in. I have started to like nair to cover platforms as you guys saw earlier. Alright, and this is what I'm talking about, guys. <laughs> Watch the smash attacks, okay? Smash attack. Smash attack. He's like desperate for the kill, so at this point, just smash attack, right? There's a bunch of smash attacks. So just be ready for that when you're at kill percent for Mario's to throw out F smash and up smash because they're really safe and they can just throw him out. Look at that. How many how many up smashes was that already? I'm off stage here. I'm actually surprised I get back from this. Uh, I know he's gonna throw out smash attack, so I'm holding shield, and I still can't punish it. That's like how safe Mario's data is, dude. Like, I knew what was gonna happen. He was gonna smash, spot dodge, throw out an attack, and I waited for it, and I still couldn't punish. Good pumble and DI mix up there. I was actually expecting four throw, so I DI toward the back throw. Sat in shield and waited for something there, got the air dodge and was able to punish the air dodge with the up smash to seal out the second stock. So I'm at high percent here, I know he's gonna be mashing smash attacks, so what do I do? Hold shield and punish, right? I'll be at shield, back air, uh, to seal out the stock for him, that's good. Honestly, this Mario's big problem was that he was not using nearly enough back air. Mario's back air is so safe and pretty much unpunishable. Once the neutral resets, what you'll notice is that I'm pretty much just uh, punishing him for his movements, right? So right here, down tilt, wait for the air dodge, wait, right? I back off and I just wait, get him with his back air, trace the movement, get his limit cross slash. Try to close it out with this offstage back air here, but I wasn't able to hit it, so he was able to get back to stage fine. Here I'm trying to evade and take advantage of my bigger range and just space him out. But he does a good job of getting in right there. He overcommits with his up B and leaves himself wide open to get punished by an up smash. Again, throwing out too many attacks as most Marios do, but we're ready for it and able to punish accordingly. Next up guys is something I actually have a good amount of trouble with myself, and that's playing Cloud against Heavies. DDD at least is a matchup that Cloud definitely wins, but Heavies for example like Donkey Kong, Bowser, uh, I feel like Cloud loses really badly because as much damage as he can do to them, he doesn't really have any hits that are strong enough to kill them, right? So. A lot of times you're playing this game of tacking on damage, tons and tons of damage, but you just end up giving them free rage and once they put you off stage, you just die, especially against like Donkey Kong, right? Uh, and it's actually really frustrating, so something I worked with in this game was uh, being really patient and basically doing my best not to have the situation get turned around on me. So you can see I have this DDD at like 98 now, right? But I'm still being really careful not to push my advantage. Just getting the hits as I can get them because I know one poorly positioned grab, uh, if he gets me with the grab, you know, at the edge of the stage, my stock is basically done. So, yeah, right here I'm just putting some back air pressure, getting a limit. Uh, he's really patient on ledge here, does a good job of timing that away to not get hit by that blade beam. But, you know, see, I just run away from the Gordo because I'm not trying to get any more damage or attack on any trades right here, right? I'm not gonna lie, I'm playing a little lame here as I just kind of sit and try to get my limit because I'm not trying to get thrown off stage without limit at this percent because uh, I don't want to lose my lead and just have all that percent go away. And like you can see, Cloud's having a hard time getting this kill. At this point, I know that that percent, if he grabs, he's not going to have invincibility for that long, so I throw the blade beam because it does indeed hit under the stage, right? So with our patience, we were able to close out the stock without taking any more percent. We start setting up for a pretty good string here, back throw cross slash, works pretty well. Uh, I go for this fair and then I jump off, uh, trying to see if I can get anything from the limit, but I couldn't, so I just went back to stage. Again, not trying to push my advantage too far here, because uh, I'm not trying to have this situation turned around on me, right? I specifically remember putting up shield for that Gordo, but of course, uh, with online, you need to put up shield like way earlier than if you were to react offline. So I still got hit by that Gordo, and that cost me to stop. A lot of the times, at this point, against the heavy, I'd be like, okay, I need to go back in right now and like, you know, maintain my lead by being aggressive. But uh, I did a good job of just staying patient here, knocking back the Gordos. I went for this Hail Mary F smash here because it is really hard to kill heavies with Cloud, but I was like, dude, I'm just gonna try to do it now. There's enough damage on him. Uh, so that was still, you know, my bad habit of getting too greedy for the kill against heavies. 
Luckily, I didn't get punished too badly for it, and then I start backing off and being a little more patient with my uh, options and my punishing options. He tries to go for the suck here and like, you know, cheese me off stage, and you guys do not know how many times I've lost early stocks to that and to like Donkey Kong's uh, cargo throw, offstage cargo throw, or K Rule's suck. Like, so many times as Cloud, these heavies have cheesed me like that, so I'm really proud of myself for you know, not falling for it this game and just practicing my patience and, you know, really just taking my time to get the kill without sacrificing my lead or having the situation turn around on me. Almost 200% here, but I just gotta tell myself, be patient. Limit cross slash, of course, fails me. He falls out of it, but uh, that buffered air dodge still had him so low that he wasn't able to make it back. So, you know, we take those. We didn't take on any more percent either. At this point, he's desperately looking for some ground. Uh, very good lead we have here. So all we're doing is sitting in shield and getting some nice up out of shield punishes, right? Uh, I only dropped that cross slash because I thought he was going to be in shield, uh, but it worked out anyway. Again, being patient, just trying to get back to stage here and maintain stage control. But then I saw that opportunity, so I went for the run off, double jump down air to get the spike and seal out the game. I'm really happy with how I played that last game. Playing against heavies as Cloud can be so stressful because of just how quickly things can turn around on you. Uh, so I'm really happy I was able to be patient and play it how I wanted to without losing my lead and without dying super early to some stupid heavy cheese, right? So that's going to be it for this one guys, hope you guys got something out of it and enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor guys, hit that thumbs up button, leave a like on the video, drop a comment below, and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. Thanks again for watching guys, and I will see you guys next time. Whoa,